Hello there and welcome back on insights that I learned from Bob Proctor. Now this one is the origin of behavior. And when most people say, where do your behavior comes from? This is my actions and eh, that's about it. But if we don't know the real origin of our behavior, our, how are we ever going to change it so they can support the direction that we want to go? So let's dig a little deeper. As Bob would say, when you start writing, and writing causes thinking, and the thoughts that you have start to create images in your mind, and those images create feelings inside of you. And that's where the behavior starts. From the feelings, you take action or you don't take action. And these actions create results. So let's look at polar opposites. If you're thinking of something from which you're scared and you're afraid of, all of a sudden the images that you'll have will not be uplifting and engaging images, but rather they'll be ones that they put caution to the wind and says, okay, I shouldn't be doing this. And because of that feeling, you will refrain from taking action and therefore stay, so to speak, in the safe zone of not taking action. That's where the origin of behavior comes from. Well, let's turn it around. If we have thoughts of, for example, the goal that we want to achieve by December 2022 this year, which is, for example, to double last year's income. And as we start thinking about these thoughts, hmm, some images are coming to our mind, what we can do, how we can start doing it. And those images start to trigger feelings and those feelings, because they're towards possibilities, make us take action. And those actions or behaviors or those actions now becoming a behavior are creating new results that are in harmony with the image that we want. So the origin of behavior is not outside of us, it's inside of us. And we dictated more than we ever thought possible. So to recap, whenever you're thinking thoughts, you're creating images and those images trigger feelings inside of you. And those feelings are what push you to action, the origin of behavior. And those actions will create the results. So if you don't like the results that you get, don't change the behavior. That's not where you need to go. You need to go, what feeling created that action? And then what image created that feeling? Now you're hitting the nail right on the head, putting power right back into where it belongs, your life. You are the creator of your life. You can decide to write the script of the life that you want. And as you do so, it will create images. And those images will put feelings that push you into action. And those actions will be in harmony with the life that you want to create. Bob is fantastic. He knows so much. And I'm so blessed to be a consultant, certified consultant for Bob, to teach and continue to teach the methods that change my life and the lives of all my clients. Looking forward to more insights from Bob as we get more and more videos. So if you haven't already, just subscribe to the YouTube channel and ring the bell so you can be notified on the daily channels, the daily videos that are coming onto this channel. And I have a 15 day uh, little sprint over here on insights from Bob Proctor's teachings. Looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. And until then, make it a great day. Bye now.